So we're just going to do one quick example um, of trig identities with compound angles. Okay, so this is the example here. So we have sine of a plus b over cos of a cos of b, and we have to prove that that's equal to tan of a plus tan of b. So again, we're just going to work with this side. We're going to leave the right-hand side on its own, and hopefully this side in the end will equal to that side. So the first thing I'm going to do is to break sine of a plus b into its individual parts. So we use that just using the formula. So you can look the formula up and you're going to find that it's equal to, write it here, sine of a cos of b plus cos of a sine of b. So these are quite easy just to get confused. Just make sure you have that right. Uh, and that's all divided by cos of a cos b. Okay. So now a couple of videos back we said that if you wanted to you had say two terms on the left hand side and only one term on the right hand side, you have to look for the common denominator. So now it's the same here except it's the opposite. So now we have one term on the left hand side and we want to break it up into two separate terms. So again we have the common denominator is cos of a cos of b. So basically we have to break this up into two separate fractions. So we can do that really easily. We just write sine of a cos of b all divided by cos of a cos of b plus cos of a sine of b all divided by cos of a cos of b. So just write each individual one here as its own fraction. So that's just going backwards. If you saw this in front of you, you could move it into that. And the same way you can go backwards to bring it into this form here, just if it suits better, okay? So now that it's in this form there, we can see that some things are gonna cancel. So we get the blue one out, we're gonna go cos B will cancel with this cos B, and this cos A will cancel with this cos A. So we're gonna be left then with sine A over cos A, plus on this side is gonna be sine B over cos of B. This is, so sine of A over cos of A, is tan of a plus sine of b over cos of b is tan of b and that's equal to the right hand side so we've proved it that's okay yeah so that was just a quick video to show an example of a trig identity with compound angles so it's still the same kind of the same few steps you just have to you might have to use these formulas and um, in these kind of questions